Pass fumble play is the most difficult of all calls for the referee, and it takes total focus on the quarterback. Once the ball gets it back in his hand and he's cocked and ready to throw, you've got other responsibilities. You've got the tackle <clears throat> on the left, on the, on the, on the, usually on your left, or maybe on your right, but you've got to peripherally watch them and continue to watch the quarterback because you will see a defender coming around ready to hit that quarterback and you've got to be ready to either hit where he hits him and where the ball is all at the same time. Now it sounds hard, however, I'm completely convinced that when a pass fumble play occurs, I see it in slow motion. I see it infinitely slow. I see the arm come back, I see him hit, the ball is shaken loose, his arm comes forward. Even if the ball goes downfield and it looks like a pass, I know it's a fumble because I don't blink when that happens. It's total focus and I would say that <clears throat> in my career, I don't think I missed more than two or three pass fumble plays in 23 years. To me, it was the most fun of any call because I would see it, I would make the call, and then when I reviewed the film at regular speed, I said to myself, how in the world could I have possibly seen that that was a fumble until I slowed it down and sure enough, it was a fumble. It's all focus and position, not being too close, but not being distracted by something else. and that. That's what makes for great officiating. Anyone that's interested in becoming a top-notch referee and increasing all of your abilities, uh, make sure that you get a hold of Position Power, put up a referee magazine because it's got all of the information about finding out how good you are and how good you can be.